Alright guys, we're going to be checking out my favorite held items for each Pokemon. Uh, with today's current meta, as of 8-20-2021, uh, I rock Buddy Barrier and Focus Band on a majority of my items. The two most uh, powerful items in the game at the moment. So, uh, there won't be too much diversity. You know, there's a couple Pokemon I don't run. I think I run Focus Band with everyone. But I don't think I run Buddy Barrier with everyone. There's a couple po uh, Pokemon I could... I would definitely consider switching Buddy Barrier off of. But there it's always a viable option. Buddy Barrier and Focus Ban. If you were gonna upgrade any items in the game uh to level 21st, it would definitely be these two. Uh running third place for me. Uh muscle band's good, score shield's good, scope lens is good, wise glasses is alright, salt vest is okay, energy amplifier, those are kind of like the seven-ish items I would consider focusing on upgrading first. All right, guys, here's my absolute build. We got Focus Band, we got Buddy Barrier, and Scope Lens. Uh, you can also justify putting Muscle Band in there if you wanted to, but I feel like, uh, where'd it go? I can't find it. Oh, it's rare. <laughs> it's right there. Okay, uh, but I feel like Scope Lens is the way to go with Absol's crit. All right, guys, here's my Blissey build. I, this one's a little, okay. So, let's just go ahead and talk about Focus Band, Buddy Barrier first for obvious reasons two best items in the game but for your third item this one's a little iffy okay this is if i was playing with a good trio or higher or i knew for sure i was going to be the lowest level pokemon in the game because uh you don't want multiple <laughs> multiple pokemon running exp share it's just not worth it so if you're not positive on what to pick for uh, if, if you're not positive with it running EXP share, the Salt Vest is a good um, substitute for Blissey. You could also maybe rock Score Shield if you wanted to. Either way, uh, any three of those items I think are the way to go with the Blissey. For Charizard, this one I'm a little torn about. Uh, Focus Band, Buddy Barrier, and Muscle Band. But Charizard has one of the best ultimates in the game in my opinion. If he's flying over top of you, you're literally just dead if you're a squishy character. You just can't do anything about it if all your cooldowns are done. So Energy Amplifier is a very good substitution if you don't want to run Muscle, muscle Band. Um, just because of his ultimate. You actually regenerate it super quick too. And with Energy Amplifier, you're just going to regenerate it even faster. Alright, for Cinderace, we got Focus Band, Buddy Barrier, and Muscle Band. Uh, but I also see a lot of people using Scope Lens with uh, Cinderace just for the crit. Uh, me, personally, I like Muscle Band, but you could justify putting Scope Lens in with uh, Cinderace. I think the attack speed is more important, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, in, in the HP loss, I should say, too, that's actually pretty pretty uh, significant difference, too, as well. Alright guys, for Cramorant, we got your Focus Band, we got your Buddy Barrier, both obvious choices for Cramorant, team player, Cramorant. So for your third pick, uh, you could do a couple different things. You got Energy Amplifier for Cramorant's ult. He's got a very strong ultimate. Uh, it feels like he's, like you just can't take him down. You get terrified as soon as you hear a Cramorant ult and it's not your team's. I, I do, I don't know if you guys do, but uh, in it, Energy Amplifier just to get your Unite move even quicker. Or um, I would use Wise Glasses just for like Surf. All right guys, for Crustle, we got Focus Band, we got Buddy Barrier, and then Score Shield. Score Shield would be big for Crustle, any kind of tank, honestly, uh, just because of the 10% of HP. And being able to score while your shield remains active, that's a big part, especially with Crustle. He's got speed and the uh, high HP is going to be, it's going to be a huge benefit for him. I honestly wouldn't substitute this out for anything else in my opinion. All right, guys, here's Eldegoss. We got Focus Band, we got Buddy Barrier, and this is the same thing as uh, Blissey. Uh, EXP share, but if you're not comfortable with this and you don't know exactly how it works, uh, Score Shield's not a bad pick. Maybe Shell Bell, if you really wanted to, or Wise Glasses, uh, but... I would probably use Score Shield if you're not going to use... Alright guys, for Garchomp, we got Focus Band, Buddy Bear, Muscle Band. No ifs, and, or but. This is the build that you use for Garchomp. 
for Gardevoir, we got Focus Band, we got Buddy Barrier, and we got Wise Glasses. Uh, just for special attack. If you wanted to substitute Energy Amplifier for Gardevoir, her ultimate is extremely powerful. So, and you just get it faster. For Gengar, this is the one where we can, <laughs> you can definitely mix it up with Gengar. Uh, depends on your playstyle, honestly. Gengar, you could definitely be a little more selfish, or you can try to play with the team. It's a little harder to play the team with the team though with Gengar. Usually you're trying to take 1v1s uh, with Gengar. So uh, I'd rock Focus Band, Wise Glasses, and for your third pick, it just kind of depends on your play style. Uh, you could rock Buddy Barrier, Salad Option, uh, Shell Bell, uh, even Special Attack Specs. I mean, it's kind of... Floatstone even move faster around the map. I'm not a big fan of floatstone. I'm not gonna lie to you The increased movement speed while out of combat out of combat does eight seconds after leaving combat There's not a lot of time where you're eight seconds without you're doing something if you're not doing something in eight seconds You're probably not Benefiting them as most as you can so floatstone I, I I don't know maybe you can justify floatstone, but I feel like shell bell it would be a better choice or even Buddy Barrier if you're going to be playing with your team. This one, it's a little harder to decipher what I would play with Gengar. Just because he's got a couple different play styles. I've played a lot of Greninja and I have the best time using Focus Band, Buddy Barrier, and Muscle Band. I think these are the three obvious choices here. I said that with Cinderace too. Um, using those three same items. I, you could justify putting scope lens in, but I still think muscle band's the way to go. All right, guys, for Lucario, we got your two two normals, focus band, a buddy barrier, and I run muscle band. Score shield's not a bad option if you really wanted to. Uh, I've even used float stone before, too, but I still think muscle band is the way to go. I've played a lot of Lucario. He's my number one player right now. Not, not my one player. He's my number one Pokemon right now. I play the most Lucario. I think he's absolutely busted in the game. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, guys. From a champ, I got Focus Band. I got Buddy Barrier. And I got Muscle Band. Uh, the attack with um, a champ using submission, getting the damage down. Uh, obviously, this isn't going to help you with submission. But pulling a Pokemon back to your net and then auto attacking him with uh, your auto attacks. Uh, it's going to help you take out some Pokemon, so I'd rock Muscle Band uh, with the other two. Alright guys, from Mr. Mime, I got Focus Band, I got Buddy Barrier, and I got Score Shield. Uh, you could justify putting in Wise Glasses though, if you really wanted to, if you're not a confident goal scorer. Uh, but either one, soluble options, just kind of your preference. Alright guys, for Nine Tails, we got Focus Band, we got Buddy Barrier, and I got Muscle Band. The attack speed percentage is big, especially uh, using Aurora Veil with your Muscle Band. It's You're, you're going to get an extra attack out. You could justify putting Wise Glasses in as well, but I still think Muscle Band is the way to go. If you weren't going to use it though, Wise Glasses. For Pikachu, we got Focus Band, we got Buddy Barrier, and we got Wise Glasses just for the special attack damage. Uh, Pikachu definitely needs teammates around, so Buddy Barrier is definitely the way to go. And obviously, two best items in the game, so we'll just keep moving along. Alright guys, for Slowbro, I got Focus Band, I got Buddy Barrier, and I got Score Shield. Uh, just for the shield, it's big. Uh, Slowbro's got a lot of HP, that 10% is going to help him a lot. For Snorlax, we got Focus Band, Buddy Barrier, Score Shield, same thing as Slowbro. The 10% HP boost while you're scoring, huge. Especially for Slowbro. I think he even... Or sorry, Snorlax. I think Snorlax even has more HP than Slowbro. But uh, they're both tanks. Score Shield's going to help out a lot. And you're going to be able to get goals off. So that's nice. Alright guys, I've been playing a lot of Talonflame recently. Uh, I rock Focus Band, Buddy Barrier, and Muscle Band. But you could go a couple different routes with this. I tend to play more with my team with Talonflame. I know a lot of people don't, so you could justify putting score shield here. You could justify putting score shield here. Or sorry, <laughs> I just said that. You could justify taking out muscle band and putting buddy barrier in. It's just kind of your play style. If you're going to play a little more solo, this would be the solo I would recommend. But if you're playing with team, um, it's tough. It's kind of up to you if you're going to use muscle band or... 
uh, score shield. Honestly, I like the auto attack, so I tend to fight more than I score, so I rock muscle band. For Venusaur, we got focus band, we got buddy barrier, and I got wise glasses down for him. Uh, you could definitely justify putting muscle band in though, just for the attack speed. I know his uh, his move set though, special attack's gonna help, but the auto the extra auto attack speed is kind of nice too. So it's kind of up to you, either one. Solid options. All right, guys, for Wigglytuff, we got Focus Band, we got Buddy Barrier, and we got Muscle Band. The reason for Muscle Band is because in the beginning of the game, Wigglytuff is a pain. She's very strong at the beginning of the game, and the extra attack speed might be able to help you get uh, take out op uh, opponents, but you could justify putting Score Shield in. Either one, solid options. Uh, the HP is nice with Score Shield too as well. Either way, it's up to you. And our last but not least, we got Zora. I got Focus Band, I got Buddy Barrier, and I got Muscle Band. I feel like this is a no-brainer. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this kind of style video. Uh, appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Later.